Hello friends, welcome to Auto Clicker and Auto Fill and our extension is available for both Chrome and Edge browser. You can find the links in the description below. Today I am going to create a video on global settings. So I am running a dev version of the Auto Clicker. You can find the dev version also. You can see the dev version. Uh, you can find the related docs here, documents, the blogs examples which we have available you can request us to create new examples for whichever site you are finding difficulty to create if you find any issues in this create here and this is our test site on which i am going to show the demo today you can also contact us on our mail address and you can also join with us on discord channel and we will there help you with all your queries and configurations okay so today i have configured on our test page this is the test page okay and i have added the two actions the first action is within an iframe okay the first action is first action is within an iframe if i find it here you can see this element is within an iframe and it is here basically how it finds this is like in the form there's an input field which having an id which is name so if you see here so this matches the here and then our second extension x x path is very common one which will match most of the elements so if you see uh, we have 11 out of one so you can see there are 11 matches with this uh, x path okay and we have set the hello in this one and in the form below in the iframe we have set the value through okay now quickly let me go to here in the configuration settings so you will see this is the basic configuration it is available okay it says stop we will start with the iframe first so as you can see our first action is within an iframe we refresh the page let the extension starts and it starts to searching that x path element within the page and it tries new terms and it will throw an error like you can see the error here also like uh, this element is not found the form input id is name but if you see you here okay but if you see here you can find that element but it is an in iframe to enable the iframe search just have to do is enable this iframe and save you can see here it's in iframe there are two types of iframe one this one which is without source which is loaded dynamically through a page and one which is having the source what it usually do is it's load the content of this page directly in our page so it is like page within page picture within picture the same concept like page within page we use iframe to load that okay so and this check iframe works only for iframe which don't have source if you were targeting to uh, for iframe which is having source instead of this url you need to create a configuration for this url i will take that in later course okay so I have enabled the check iframe. I say here retry five times with one second of interval. Okay. And we refresh the page and see what happens. So it starts to retry like you know, here it's one time and it's four times here. And you see it filled the value through in the name field, which we have already found. And then it runs the second action to fill the hello in all the fields which, which it matches. Okay. So this is the one okay now you can see it waited five times four here one here with one second of interval we can uh, increase the retry or decrease the retry with now i have set like it only retry two times with two seconds of interval what it will do is it will find the first first action within the main page first and then it will fill finds in the iframe so you will you will say why it don't find first in the iframe itself because many times it happens like the iframe content we rarely focuses like the main we always focus on the main page only that's why it always finds in the main page only first okay let me clear this uh, to source more 
properly uh, let me increase this to one second and you will see like the first action will not be filled until the 10 seconds are completed because it will try to find first in this page and then only in that we can also reverse the order like this now and save it what this done is it will first fill the hello and then it will find the um, next element in the iframe okay let me refresh so that the new fields happen so if you see the hello field first itself now it's finding the second action in the main page and it won't find for the 10 times then it will go for iframe that way okay this way okay let me reverse it again for testing purpose now the second thing comes is like yeah you can say you no need to retry more times so retry always helps when uh, you are um, loading a page for example some pages takes time some you have a slow internet or some pages usually takes times to load so in that time this retry helps the extension to keep on finding the relevant x path okay now we have also an another option which says what should happen if that don't find it so i stop this i say don't check in iframe uh, i say skip it and i say retry one time with one second of interval okay i refresh the page i clear the console here so it will find one time it did not find the main page it is not going to check in iframe as i have disabled the iframe and it will skip that first action as you can see here that this action is skipped and it goes for the next action which is to fill hello in all the fields okay now there is another option to refresh the page for what should happens if it don't find it will refresh the page you see it will keep on refreshing it finds it don't find it refresh it don't finds it refresh it don't find it refreshes page that way okay let me stop it again so it stops refreshing so whenever then extension refreshes it reloads extension and extension starts again so extension only starts whenever the page is loaded it don't be kept alive in the background for example if i say skip and save it if i refresh now it finds and it skipped it that's it it will not wait for that extension to appear okay so this is all about the retry interval and its uh, counterparts like what should happen if it don't find the show notification is something when you you should enable it when you are starting to doing configuration you if you have successfully created configuration and you don't want to see the notification you can disable this but if you enable this you will get a notification pop up in the screen saying that okay if there is an error if the action is completed if the batch is completed or the configuration is completed and if you enable this all you will not get the error in the log so as i am more convenient with the log saying in the error i have disabled this phone notification and all my logs will be loaded in the uh, configuration again if in whichever page or whichever site you are facing an issue with creating a configuration or creating a how to find the element even we have provided the numerous way you can check our example sites if we have pre-configured the site and given to you also if you you can check our docs it covers everything everything when we say it covers all the parts which we are have created like how to find an element with the id so how it will go for this one it will go for this one and for the class name by name by tag name okay and then query selectors and the main powerful one is the xpath so you write the xpath like this and if you write like this it will select the a within the div and then if the last so this is the way you uh, you can always find the x path if you find a problem with finding the proper x path you can always connect with us on our discord channel and we will help you okay thank you so much you can
let me know in the comment section if you like the video or not or if you want to create another video for another site which you are facing issue i will create the video for that site and will provide the configuration for same